Hi friends, welcome to my channel Code to Test. So also to visit my website code to test.com where you will come up with different tutorials on automation testing tools. So coming towards the tutorial part, today we are going to discuss the horizontal swap in native and hybrid application using APM. So to start with our tutorial, open your Eclipse. So we have created a, a class over here that is horizontal swap where I have added few of the capabilities. So there are a lot of capabilities uh, for the mobile device name, platform version, platform name. So there are many things. So you can you can go my to my previous tutorial where I have discussed regarding these capabilities. Also to my website, you can go over there and check these capabilities. So over to the tutorial on horizontal swipe. Horizontal swipe. To, to start with our horizontal swap, uh, let's consider a scenario. I am taking an example of e-commerce website which is a flip card. Over to it, there are multiple elements over here. So, I see these elements, this is what static and this is what uh, dynamic. So, I will try with these static elements. I will try to swap uh, this uh, element from third element, this is fashion. I'll try to swap this element towards the first one, towards the first uh, element, like this, from third to towards the first element. So this is towards, right now, this is the task I will be uh, doing it by coding. Okay, so to start with our tutorial, open your UI automator. Okay, so I have opened my UI automator and uh, firstly take the X path of these elements. Okay, so what I see is, the resource ID. I am taking resource ID. So what I see is the resource ID is being common for all the elements. Okay, you can see all the elements have same resource ID. No problem, not an issue. Just take the resource ID, copy it, open your Eclipse. Just keep it somewhere over here. Comment it. Okay. So uh, to inspect the element, we use driver instance driver dot element as I we are working in mobile application I will take mobile buy M -O -E -I, mobile buy okay under it we have a method that android UI selector this one okay inside it I will create an object of UI selector new UI, new UI selector okay after that what I will do is I will call resource ID. Ah, okay, not over here. Inside here. Okay, dot res resource ID. Okay, under the resource ID, I will pass my locator. Which is this one? I have copied and put it over here. Just cut and paste over here. Close it. I will take everything inside a list. It's an Android element. So provide a generally as Android. Android element. Okay. So it's showing. Uh, name it as anything. Name it as E. I have just named it as E. So, okay, so this is these uh, it's an elements, not element. They are multiple elements. So these are elements inside a list. Okay, to uh, as you know that to get the element inside a list, we take on the basis of index. Okay, so when I call this element p e dot, we have a method get index. So uh, first element is put inside a zeros index to call. Just open your UI automator. So everything inside a list. So first element is in zeroth index, second element is in first index, and third element is in second index. So I want my third element and second element because I am performing by horizontal swap from third element towards the first element. So take zeroth index and it's an Android element. An Android element, name it as first element. Okay, 
Similarly, I want my third element. Just pop it. And this is my second index. My third element is my second index. Name it as third element. P H I R D. Third. Okay. So after that, I will provide my logic. It's somewhat a bit tricky, but it's not tough. So open your UI automator. After that, what I need is I want my x and y coordinates of this element, this and this element. From the mid, I want x and y coordinates from the center. So how I I will get it? I can only get my y coordinate and x coordinate uh, with getting the location of it. First, take the y coordinate. Okay, y coordinate is some somewhat this one. So how will I will get the center of y coordinates? This can only we get by taking the location. Like location is somewhat till here, till the reach of this element till here. After that, I will add. Half the size of this element, which is this one. So I will take the location of this element plus size of this half the size of this element. This is somewhat this. So let's do that. Let's take the element, first element. Dot. That location dot this is y coordinates. So I take y plus inside a bracket. What I need is I will take this element dot. I need size dot first element dot. Get its get size, get size. Dot y axis is somewhat height, so height divided by two. So this is what my logic is. I take the location of my elements plus half the size of my element. Okay, so it will return you an integer that is int, that is mid of of y over in it okay this is the mid of y coordinate now what i need is i need x x coordinate so i need this one this x coordinate how i will get this x coordinate is i'll take the location of x coordinate so take the location dot at location Take the location. Sorry, dot x. So I want this one. Try this element. This is my first element. Okay. So this is my first element. X coordinate. It's an it, it's written type is integer. Okay, so what my next step is, I I will go to my third element. So as you know that y coordinate would uh, remain same because the height from this element to this one is same for this also. Y coordinates would be the same. My location along with the size half the size of this uh, element. This is same. I, y, y size is always same. So what changes is x coordinate. I took my x coordinate for the first element. Now I want the x coordinate my for my third element. So how I will get it? I will take this one. My reference variable of third element dot get location dot x. So this is my. It will return return you an integer. This is the third element x coordinate. Okay, so uh, I took all the x and y coordinates of my first and third element. 
so what i will do is i'll call touch action so touch action performs your uh, horizontal swiping so how i will do this i will call an object of touch action call the object of touch action so what it needs is as a parameter parameter it needs your driver instance as a parameter so provide it driver instance of your of this as a parameter along with what i will do is i'll provide a reference variable name it as action as i'm providing an action so name it as action so what my next step is take the reference variable of action class copied dot we have a method that is press press what it will do is it will press the element from what the action we have to perform is we have to press this third element from mid of x and y coordinate and swipe it to to my first element so we have to pass x and y coordinates and how i will do that i will call point option dot point point option dot point it needs your x and y coordinates of third element so the x coordinate of my third element is this one and y coordinate is remain the same for both the elements so i'll take bit of y coordinates i'll put it over here okay so what i need is second i'll provide a wait over here i'll take this element press it over here wait for few seconds one second or two second and then i will serve till here So dot we have a method that is wait action wait action dot and uh, we have a method that wait option dot again wait option we have to provide a duration over here so we have duration duration dot it will ask you what which parameter you have to define for the uh, this one wait you take it second I'll take it as of second. I'll make it wait for two seconds. Suppose after that, what I need is I would I will call to my move to action. What I need is I want press over here, wait for my uh, element for and taking x and y coordinates and try to move it to the first element. So move it. Take point option again dot point. Point. Again, I have to provide the x and cord, uh, y coordinates to the element where to the till where the move to action to be provided, which is my first element. So this is my x coordinate of my first element, and the y coordinate is remain same. Copy it and paste it over here. After that, uh, this is uh, a important step to release your element. After that dot perform. So what it do is it will combine your all the actions and release it and perform your total action. What the action has been taken inside it. Okay. If we are done with our coding part, let's let's execute our uh, this method we have created. Okay. So before executing it, before executing it, let's. Let's let us right directly run it. Open my application. Okay. Let's close all your application for now and run it. Right click, run as Java application. Just just wait for a few seconds. It's launching somehow. Just wait. It's loading, loading and loading. Okay. It have loaded now. Okay. Open my device now. So something have happened to the device. It's working. Okay, it has opened, launched the device over at the top. So you can see that this yeah swipe has been performed. It goes from third element towards the first element. So our task has been achieved. Okay, so this is the test case. We this is the object. We have, we are about we are trying to perform it. We are done with our uh, object. So this is all for today's session.
so if you like my videos uh, subscribe to my channel like this video and go to much more all these coding stuffs i have put it on to my website so you can get this code to my website thank you thanks for watching my video thanks again